Friday, my school had a pep rally, and this is how it went. I started recording clips a little late. All the students were not in here. There were only sophomores and juniors. The freshmen and seniors already went, so now it was only 10th and 11th grade in here. There's a lot of people at my school. Everyone was ready for the pep rally to begin, and they were bringing out all the sports players. The teacher that was hosting the pep rally had a lot of energy. He was making the rally more entertaining. And then the basketball team come out. Just look what he does. He tries to dunk on them. <laughs> the rally was about to begin soon. And I just want to show y'all all these teams. So we got the staff members on that side. And now we got cheerleading. The boys basketball team. The boys soccer team. There were way cooler interests at the event. Like the cheerleading squad. They had did like some flips. But I didn't get it on camera. Because I thought I was not going to record. Looking around, they were calling out the sports players. And what sports team is it? They had a boys and girls swim team. They had girls volleyball, girls cheer, boys soccer team, a boys basketball team. And that's really what they had for right now. So they were throwing out souvenirs, and you had to catch it if you wanted one. All the students were hyped and was trying to get some souvenirs. It was just, like, pretty cool to see that everyone was participating in the event. This was when the event started getting more entertaining. They started doing games, and the cheer squad did a verse three-point shootout. What made this interesting that the cheer squad were standing each other up and then shooting the ball, and both sides were doing it. At first, I didn't even see the other side till I looked the other way, and I'm like, why are people screaming? Honestly, I do not know who won. It was just so cool to see that they was actually being entertaining and I could like watch this without being bored. But it's actually pretty fun. They were setting up musical chairs, but with the dodgeballs, like you had to get a dodgeball instead of a chair. Swing this around. This is one of the rewards you get. The girls cheer squad was taking photos and now it's time to play dodgeball. <laughs>
After playing musical dodgeball, it was time to play another game. The game the host was thinking of was head, shoulder, knees, and toes. The spin on this game was that you got to get the cone first. So it was more like competition. Everyone was hyped that the girl won. No one was expecting her to win. So that's why the whole basketball team came out to cheer her on. This was the last game at the pep rally before they announced the homecoming queens and kings. Come back for part two.